Welcome to Tom's Cubes and Games. Installing ESDE on King Hank K56. We're going to purchase it and download it. Then we're going to install it incorrectly to see what that looks like. And then we'll install it correctly. So, before we start, let's make sure we quit any games that are running. The easiest way is just to go all the way along to the left there and clear it all. So we want to make sure our Wi-Fi is turned on, go online. Now, I'm going to go incognito so it thinks I'm a new user. And we want to type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash E S hyphen d e dot o r g we want download I'm gonna choose Patreon version it's up to you if you go for one of the other options. We want Android, Patreon. See membership options. Uh, if this pops up, obviously make your choice. So see membership options. And that works out at £5.20, including VAT. So click on join. And then you have to obviously do your details from here. Once you've put in your details, you get an uh, option to download and install and run it straight away from there. I'm going to go back on the uh, home page. It's up to you where you download it to. Once it's downloaded, you can copy that installation file to any of your Android devices and use it on any number of your Android devices. So you just run that. Now mine's already installed so it's gonna offer me to update it. So I don't want to do that because that's just a waste of resources because I've got the most up-to-date version. Now you might have ESDEK in which case it will say you can't install because you've got another version. So all you do, if you've got ESDEK or you make a mistake and you want to start all over again, just hold on to the icon ESDE or ESDEK and then start to move it. Once you start to move it, you'll see an uninstall option come up at the top and then just drag it over there. It double checks. Okay. So that's gone now. Now 
Do I want to install? Yes. Install. I can open it straight away. And we have to do the setup. Now let's do it wrong because it's easy to do it wrong and we'll see what happens. First we open permission screen. Allow access. Tick off that checkbox or switch. Go back. Then when it's select directory, this is for the ESD EDA folder. Now this is where we can go wrong. We don't want to be using K56. If I go to the burger bar, burger menu even, <laughs> what we should be doing here is choosing our TF card. And it may be the name of your TF card, or if it hasn't got a name, it will be its capacity. And we would choose that. But let's see what happens if we make a mistake and chose the default. If we could easily think, oh yeah, look, look there's an ESDE, and we choose that one, use that folder, allow. Then we select our ROMs folder, and that looks right, doesn't it? But it's not right because it's it's from the K56 internal memory. But let's just carry on doing it wrong. Allow. You must skip here. Whatever you do, skip. If you mess up, it doesn't matter. I'll show you what to do. And then that I understand. This this pen isn't very good for the touch sensitivity. Ah, something's not right. Let's go to Android Home. Let's not muck around. Let's start all over again. So uninstall that app. It's gone. Go back to our downloaded installation file. Now it's checking for permission. That's Android checking for permissions. So we'll let it install. Open it. Begin setup. Open permission screen. All file access switched on. Back button. Select directory. And this is where we went wrong last time we didn't choose the TF card, so let's choose the TF card this time. Micro SD card. Look for ESDE, there it is. Use this folder. Allow. We want to select the ROMs folder now. And again, make sure we choose the TF card or micro SD card. And look for ROMs folder, there it is. Click on ROMs folder. Use this folder. Allow. Skip. And if you didn't skip this and use create, again it wouldn't be working right, so just uninstall it and start again. But let's remember to skip. I understand, and that's it. We are up and running. And I'll show you what to do in a moment if your installation process is interrupted by real life and you have to go back to it to finish it off later on.
So the main point to remember is choose your TF card for ESDE folder and choose your TF card for the ROMs folder and skip any folder creation. There we go, we're up and running. Once we're on a game list, select is the game list option and start is the main menu. If we don't like if we don't like this wheel, we can go to UI setting and change the theme to linear if we prefer press B to go back we have to wait now for a minute or two for it to load up the other theme first time it takes a while and now our game list is easier I think to navigate than the wheel right let's go back to Android home Let's suppose you'd made your purchase and then you get interrupted, you have to go off and do something. When you come back, go on to Chrome. Type in HTTP colon forward slash forward slash es hyphen de dot org but hopefully you haven't deleted your history so it's there again even if you've paid for it and so on still click on download still click on android patreon and now if you may have to sign in again if, if you uh, depending on what you did in the meantime otherwise like for me I haven't deleted all my history and so on so it's remembered me and you go uh, to this top post here show more and then the download link is here download link for ESDE and then you get the download option and that is that I hope you found that useful thank you for watching bye